Something has changed within me. Something is not the same. I'm filled with playing by the rules of someone else's game. Too late for second guessing. Too late to go back to sleep. It's time to trust my instincts. Close my eyes and leap. It's time to try defying gravity. I think I try defying gravity and you can't pull me down. Yep, that's right. I just made a Wicked reference in this review that I am going to be reviewing right now, actually. So yeah, and today, guys, I am going to be doing my movie review on Megamind today. So yeah, so before I go, I'm going to say this. Cue the intro. Okay, guys, put your hands in the air and hand over your wallets. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Wait, I just made a reference to the movie that I am going to be reviewing right now, actually. So, yeah. So, without further ado, let's start this review right now, actually. So, yeah. Hey, guys, this is Evans Disney's Film Corner 2023 here on Today. Guess what, guys? And today, I am going to be doing my movie review on Megamind. Came in the year of 2010. So, yeah. So, I'm going to read this plot on the internet. So, yeah. So, basically what the plot's about, though the successful, brilliant supervillain in the world known as Megamind is the least successful, warranted time, and again by heroic Metro Man, and Megamind is more surprised than anyone when he actually manages to defeat him, hit, I meant defeat his, his longtime enemy, but without Metro Man... Um, Megamind has no purpose in life, so he creates a new opposite who is quickly be, um, who is quickly decides to, who, um, it's more fun to be a bad guy than a hero. So, yeah. So, that's basically what the plot's about, about this movie. So, yeah. So, I did remember that this movie is actually directed by Tom McGrath, who also directed, um, movies such as um he also directed the Madagascar movies and he directed this movie as well and also yeah and also um yeah I do remember and also yeah I and I also do know that this movie is actually getting uh, a sequel series called um Megamind's Guide to um De Defending Your City which will be coming out on Peacock in um 2024 I mean I meant to say sometime in 2024 actually so yeah so yeah and I also did remember that this movie actually did come out in theaters on November 5th of 2010 as well. And even though this movie is actually 96 minutes long. So yeah. So yeah guys. So what do I think of this movie? I have to say this is definitely one of DreamWorks most underrated films. This is definitely along with um, uh, along with Rise of the Guardians as one of DreamWorks most underrated. Actually it's such a fun movie actually. I mean yeah it's. I mean, Megamind is definitely one of DreamWorks' most funnest movies as well. I mean, yeah. And I actually love how um, this movie actually is a riff on the um, the um, superhero villain genre, which honestly, yeah, which is really, um, really good. Actually, this movie is also an homage to um, the superhero villain genre. But yeah, even though the, um, the main character in the movie is Megamind, even though... Um, it was, um, he was actually, um, a, he's actually a, even though Megamind was, is actually a spoof of Lex Luthor and, um, and also a parody of, um, of, um, Vendor from The Godfather, which, sorry I mispronounced the name, but that's okay. But yeah, but honestly, he's actually, um, but in the movie, Megamind's actually a good guy, actually, I mean, yeah, even though he is not actually the villain, even though he's not, he's not actually a villain. He's mostly broken. And he's also lonely, and he was also a really nice guy, actually, as well. And also, yeah. And also, let's talk about the cast of this movie. I mean, Will Ferrell 
in this movie was fantastic as Megamind. Like, he honestly felt like he was having so much fun, especially um, his accent was also really funny. Like, honestly, yeah. And, yeah, and also he was, and also Megamind, even though, yeah, and even um, Will Ferrell in this movie was also absolutely hilarious as Megamind as well. I mean, he, Will Ferrell honestly felt like he was having the time of his life while making this movie. Yeah. Yeah, even though my favorite role of, um, of, um, of, um, of Will Ferrell is definitely, um, Buddy the Elf and Elf, which honestly is definitely my, my favorite role of, and also my favorite, um, and also my favorite, um, movie of, um, Will Ferrell is definitely, um, um, Elf, which honestly, yeah, which, Elf is definitely my favorite Will Ferrell movie, and also, yeah, and also, Tina Fey was also fantastic in this movie as well, as Roxanne Ritchie, who is actually a news reporter who actually became, um, um, Megan Mine's love interest, and also, he, she's also a, a spoof of, um, Louis Lane, actually, which also, yeah, and honestly, I definitely thought, um, um, Tina Fey was also great in this movie, I mean, even though my favorite role of, um, Tina Fey is definitely 22 and in Inside Out, I mean, is that my favorite role of Tina Fey it is 22 in Soul. I meant to say not Inside Out. I meant to say Soul, actually. I meant I meant to say 22 from Inside. I meant I meant to say 22 from Soul, actually, is my favorite role of um, Tina Fey. I mean, 22 from Soul is definitely my favorite um, Tina Fey role. And also, yeah. And also, Jonah Hill as um, Hell Sweden was also really good in this movie. Yeah. And also, yeah. And also, um, Brad Pitt's Metro Man was also really good, and, and which honestly, yeah, and I know Metro Man's actually a spoof of Superman, and as well, and also, yeah, and also, yeah, and uh, even um, there was a line in um, that um, what, um, Hal Swing, aka Titan, also said in the movie, "There is no two fairy, there is no Easter Bunny, and there is no Queen of England." Yeah, that actually became a meme, actually. And I say, yeah. And also, um, yeah. And also, yeah. And now let's talk about the music and the score of this movie, which is also, which is composed by, um, Laura Burford and, Laura Burford, which, sorry, I mispronounced that person's name, but that's okay, and Hans Zimmer, which honestly, I thought the score that those, um, two, um, people actually did were still absolutely phenomenal, still holds up to this day 13 years later, so yeah. So yeah, I mean, um, also I know, um, um, I know that, um, Guillermo Toro actually, um, so guys, I'm just going to, um, um, I'm just looking this up actually. And also, um, I know Guillermo Toro actually was, um, I know, um, he actually, I know um Glamour did came only came in on board before three weeks but um before the end of production and also yeah and Glamour also had to cut seven minutes of of um finished animation of the movie actually so yeah and yeah I know um Glamour was also involved with this movie I mean yeah even though he did um 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 executive produce um even though he did um produce um Puss in, the first Puss in Boots, actually, not the sequel, actually, but yeah, back in 2011, actually, or I would say, um, I think I would say, um, he, um, executive produced it, actually, so yeah, and now let's talk about the animation of this movie, I mean, it still holds up to this day, um, it still holds up to this day 13 years later, so yeah, it still looks fantastic, so yeah, so overall, guys, I have nothing else to say about this movie, so yeah, so overall, I mean, Megamind is definitely, one of DreamWorks' most underrated films and probably one of their best and possibly one of their or, uh, most funnest, actually. So, yeah. So, if you haven't seen Megamind, where have you been? I recommend it. It is streaming on Peacock. So, yeah. So, I'm going to give Megamind a... a 10 out of 10. Spectacular. So, yeah, guys. What do you think of my movie review on Megamind? So, yeah. Make sure to comment, like, and subscribe my channel, and make sure to like this video. So yeah, so stay tuned for my short review coming um this Tuesday, which is going to be um 
my um, short review on Mike's new car, so stay tuned for that on April 25th, and my final review of April of 2023 with my movie review finally on Princess Mononoke, which I actually announced back on um, April 5th of um, 2022, so stay tuned for those, so yeah, coming this week, so yeah, so I'll see you guys later, and bye. <laughs>